drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, charge! It's the beginning of our autonomous period in eliminations match number two. We've got two blue robots moving, two red robots operating and moving. Make that three. As the Blue Devils get onto the station, they don't engage. However, 5641, that's the Byron Robotics machine does. We move into the teleoperated period with blue ahead. Blues ahead, 27 to 18. Let's see if they can hold that lead against this very tough red alliance. RoboCubs doing what they've been doing the entire tournament. Shooting across the field, grabbing game pieces and scoring high as they just did. They are equally matched by our Atom Bots here. Atom Bots has, some, has a game piece. They take a hit from one of the blue alliances. However, they drop it off and Gonna go for some more. Blue is holding on to that lead as we have about 75 seconds left in this one. Blue Devils, the 4130 machine, has a game piece. Looks like they're gonna try to score high. And they put it down to get some extra points for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, Robo Cubs. Also with a cone in their possession, and they also score high on the Blue Alliance. Red's making this a closer, much closer match, as we have about 40 seconds left in this one. Blues is still ahead by 11. Let's see here a shout out for that Red Alliance, see if they're gonna be able to tie this one up or bring it into their favor. We're in end game. We've got three red robots working to get up on their station. Let's see if they can get it balanced out. And they do. We've got three blue robots. We got 10 seconds left in this one. And with five seconds left, this match is done. With a triple double here at the second playoff match at Kettering. The underdog Blue Alliance, 103 to 92. The Blue Alliance will be staying in the upper bracket as our Red Alliance moves down into the lower bracket to live to play again.